Fringe benefits of seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are the side benefits? We will take a look at Surah Nuh, where Nuh alayhi salam tells his people quite clearly, seek the forgiveness of Allah. I said to my people, Nuh alayhi salam is telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what he told his people. He says, I told my people, seek the forgiveness of Allah, for indeed he is oft forgiving. He is most forgiving. The term ghafoor is not used. Ghafoor means the one who is forgiving. But ghaffar means one who constantly forgives. Subhanallah. Look at the amount of hope. One who constantly forgives, ghaffar, innahu kana ghaffaran. Allah is one who constantly forgives. This is what Nuh alayhi salam says to his people. What will Allah do in return for you seeking forgiveness from him? So the verses continue. Yursili samaa alaykum midarara. He will grant you beneficial rain from the skies, that which will be of the correct amount, that which will not be more that it causes flood, not less that it causes drought, but the correct amount in the correct place so that it benefits you. That's Allah's gift. So Allah will improve your condition, your food. Allah will improve your drink and so on. Allah will grant you. Through what? Through his mercy. And you having sought forgiveness from him. Allah on top of that, he says, through that istighfar, through asking Allah's forgiveness constantly, He will grant you sustenance, wealth. The term amwal is used. How many of us are struggling? A lot of us struggle because the economy is dropping. People are in debt. People have so much in terms of financial responsibility. And we are turning to all sorts of means, not realizing that, Wallahi, you ask Allah's forgiveness. Constantly ask Allah's forgiveness. Constantly repent to Allah. Ask Allah to forgive the sins you have committed knowingly. Those who, that you have committed unknowingly. And watch after a period of time, your doors open one after the other. Allah will give you the wealth that He owns because He is the owner of the wealth. Allah will sustain you. He will grant you what He knows is best for you because He is the owner. I promise you the door to that sustenance is through asking Allah's forgiveness. It is through the owner of sustenance. How can we knock on a door besides the door of sustenance and expect sustenance in return? How can we knock on the door besides the door of the owner of sustenance and expect sustenance in return? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. May he alleviate the suffering of those who are in debt. May he help them pay back their debts. And may he grant us all such that we will be able to fulfill our financial obligations and we will be able to worship Allah through our wealth as well. So Allah says, يُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ And Allah will grant you offspring. How many of us do not have offspring for years married, but no offspring. Wallahi, one of the ways of achieving that offspring is to ask Allah's forgiveness and constantly repent. Like I said, no need to say, but why should I repent? I didn't commit sin. That is a foolish way of looking at it. A mu'min should constantly repent for that which you know, that which you don't know, all of it. Oh Allah, forgive us all. And you find two things will happen in terms of your children. If you don't have them, perhaps Allah will bless you with them as a result. May Allah bless you all and bless us all with offspring that who will be the coolness of our eyes. Secondly, if we do have offspring, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will improve their condition by His will. By His will through us turning towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. There are cases where you have very good people who are tested with children who perhaps might not be that righteous. But what we do know is in the majority of cases, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the door. And this is why you find the parents, if they are decent, close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in a lot of cases, the children follow suit, at least at some stage. May Allah make it easy in this age where uh, the internet is, has overtaken even family values. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us, may He bless us, and may He open our doors. So these are just some of the benefits of istighfar, I am sure that every one of us is motivated to be able to think when we are free or our spare time or even to create the few moments to sit and praise Allah by tongue. Praise Allah in a big way. Think about what you are saying, subhanallah. Even after we read our farad salah, for example, 
praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, astaghfirullah, 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 thrice. The sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after he turned his salam in salah, as he enter, ended his salah, he asked Allah's forgiveness thrice. That was his sunnah, that was his way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all.